Hello friends. Last month I shared a video about photography gear that Raymond and I have sold, but that we regret selling. A lot of you responded to that video with your own experiences selling gear and missing it, which was really fun to read about. And it got us to thinking about all of the gear that we've sold, but that we don't regret selling. I mean, I've liked everything that we've sold. There hasn't been anything that I just didn't like, but each and every item served its purpose for us and it was time to let it go. And I will share some photos captured with each item and a story about the item and why we ultimately decided to sell it. Before we get there, I want to thank the sponsor of this portion of the video, KEH. You've heard me talk about KEH for years. They buy and sell used photography gear and they have an enormous variety. All of the things that I am mentioning today were sold to KEH because the process is quick and easy. I've also purchased a number of items from KEH. They label everything with its condition and there's a chart that clearly tells you what each label means. So you know what to expect when you receive your new to you items. With the holidays coming up, if you're looking for some extra cash, take a look at the gear that you aren't using. You could sell it to KEH for a little extra spending money for gifts or for more photography gear for you. That's a gift too. <laughs> I am also an affiliate with KEH, so I will add links in the description of this video to both purchase gear from KEH and to sell gear to KEH. And I've added codes for you as well. Make sure that you use those because there is a code for buying that will get you a discount on your purchase. And there is a code for selling that will get you a bonus on the sale of your gear. It's awesome. Thank you to KEH for those codes and for continuing to support this channel. The first item that I sold, and I'm not sorry, <laughs> is a lens. The Nikon 200-500 f5.6 EEDVR. It's an F-mount lens, and it was the most recent thing that I sold to KEH. It's a fantastic lens. I used it a ton, but let's back up to when I decided that I wanted the lens. Raymond and I were visiting Rocky Mountain National Park. It was our last afternoon there, and we went on a hike that really wasn't very exciting. It was the middle of the day, so photography wasn't super duper. <laughs> but I was carrying the Nikon D500 and the 70 to 200 millimeter f2.8 lens. And over to our left, I'm looking at this rolling grassy field and suddenly a coyote pops up way in the distance and then another and then another. And I can't remember how many there were, but it was like four or five that had been lying in the tall grass, far from any trails, potentially taking an afternoon nap. And they all got up one by one and headed off quite literally into the sunset. It was one of the most amazing wildlife experiences I've ever had. And I was at quite a distance and I only had the 70 to 200. As you can see, I was able to crop into a couple of photos, but it was after the coyotes had loped off and we continued on our hike that Raymond and I decided that we would purchase the 200 to 500. <laughs> and I used it a ton on F mount bodies. I used it with the FTZ adapter on Z mount bodies, including the Z9 that is one of our newest. But there are a couple of Z mount super telephoto lenses that really interest us. There's a Nikon 180-600 that was recently introduced, and there's a rumored 600mm PF prime lens that is said to be quite compact. So we decided to sell the 200-500 F-mount lens and use some of those funds to purchase a 2x teleconverter for Z-mount to use with our 70-200 f2.8 Z-mount lens. And that setup is a stopgap until we purchase a super telephoto lens specific to Z-mount. Incidentally, my review video of the 200 to 500 is one of my most viewed videos of all time. It still gets views and people comment on it. It's definitely a well-liked lens. Next, the second item I want to talk about is actually a bunch of items. I sold my Sony system and I'm not sad about it. <laughs> Before anyone gets their panties in a bunch though, Sony's great. I'm not saying it isn't. The Alpha 7 R4 was my go-to for wildlife photography for years, but it was my go-to only for wildlife. If I was doing any other type of photography, I found myself reaching for my Nikon Z7 or L-mount lenses, our Fujifilm X100V, the Leica Q2, and the Alpha 7 R4 and several lenses that I had purchased for it just didn't get used very much. 
And then Nikon announced the Z9, which promised to be great for wildlife and action. Those things that I had kept the Sony system around for. So I pre-ordered the Z9 and I sold the Sony kit. In reality, we could have kept the Sony gear and expanded on it and sold our Nikon mirrorless system or our L-mount system, but we didn't want to. And what I didn't mention is that we also happened to be in a time of transition for the channel. I wanted to do fewer gear reviews and we just didn't need a third mirrorless system. So Sony did a great job for us when we had it. And we actually did keep the ZV-1, which one of the kids uses for streaming. And we also kept the 24 millimeter F1.4 G Master lens, which we sometimes use with an adapter on our Nikon Z mount bodies for astrophotography. I wanna talk about one more item that was sad to let go. I'm glad we did though, the Nikon D300S. I started this channel in 2009 using that camera body. Many of my first videos were about features on that camera. Menu walkthroughs, how to use live view because it was a new feature at the time. How to use the interval timer. Not all cameras had built-in interval timers back then. I used that camera body almost exclusively for years. <laughs> I took it everywhere and I loved it. It was such a huge step forward compared to anything else that I had used previously. It truly was an all around workhorse. I held on to that camera for a long time after I had stopped using it. I just couldn't let go. It was like it was a part of me. <laughs> but one day, Raymond talked me into doing one last photo shoot with it, kind of to say goodbye. It was this concept shoot, moody and dark, me as a card sharp. I'm pretty sure it's just some sort of fruit juice in that glass, and that's my desk with an old black backdrop draped over it. But I had blonde hair then, and it definitely popped in that dark scene. Anyway, I procrastinated for at least a few more months after this project, but I did eventually sell it. And I like to imagine that someone purchased it from KEH and they are getting all kinds of good use out of it. It was the interest in that camera that got this channel started. She was special, but it was time to let her go. Before I start weeping here, let's wrap this up. <laughs> That was definitely a nice walk down memory lane for me. I could definitely think of other gear that we sold that we were ready to get rid of, like our Nikon 1 V1s. Yes, we each had a V1 and a few lenses. The Nikon 17-55 of 2.8 DX lens. But the three that I talked about today are ones that I think fondly of, and I think fondly of getting rid of, because for each piece we sold it because there were major advances in technology or an evolution of this channel, and those are exciting things. So everyone, I suspect you know what I'm about to ask you. Have, what have you sold? And you're glad you sold it. Maybe it was for sentimental reasons like me, maybe because you just didn't really like it. Oh, the Nikon D610. That camera drove me nuts. It was great, except that I never used it because the focus points were all grouped in the center of the frame. Anyway, Raymond used it a lot. I just never bonded with it. It's gone. <laughs> anyway, tell the rest of us in the comments what gear that you have said goodbye to and good riddance to. Thank you again to KEH for working with us. Remember there's links in the description and thank you for watching.